Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin. We've got another unboxing today, and this is one from Lenovo that they sent to us on loan. And this is kind of a different product from Lenovo because this is kind of more of a toy than it is a, a computing device. This is the Jedi Challenges, and it's a, a VR experience that uses your phone. And we're going to be reviewing this uh, very shortly on my main channel at lon.tv. Now this is a Star Wars toy and they've got a, a pretty authentic looking lightsaber here that you use as part of this game. Uh, so this is what it looks like here. It um, feels like it's metal actually. It feels pretty well put together. Uh, it's got a nice rubber grip here which is going to be important so you don't uh, fling it across the room. Uh, there is a power switch on the bottom of it along with a charging port there and I'm guessing this is the uh, button to activate it. It looks like it's got some uh, metal contacts here but this might just be for decorative purposes. So we'll see how the rest of this thing works when we do the full review here. We'll take the plastic off of that. I saw this at a show the other day. This lights up, so there'll be some light coming out of the uh, top of it here. But of course, it's not a real lightsaber, so you don't have to worry about singeing your fingers with it. Uh, inside the box here, it looks like it's just the holder for the uh, lightsaber. Nothing else in that spot. Uh, over here is a uh, little uh, sensor that I think you have to place uh, somewhere in the room, maybe in front of you, that uh, the head tracking stuff is using for figuring out where you are spatially. It looks like there's a uh, battery that goes in on the bottom here. So let's see, it looks like it's got uh, two AA batteries that have to go in there, and you've got another switch here to turn it on. So this lights up also. And again, we'll take a look at how this works in the main review. Uh, in this box here, We've got some batteries, so batteries are indeed included. Uh, you also have what looks like a uh, charging adapter for the lightsaber. So it looks like the lightsaber has a rechargeable battery, whereas that base uses double A's. And it looks like you've got a bunch of USB charging cables here as well. So I'm guessing maybe the headset uh, needs to be charged up too. And here is the uh, safety warranty and product guide. This looks like pretty nicely put together for something that's not a mainline product from Lenovo. So this is gonna be kind of fun to play around with here. Uh, there's another box in here. It's just a spacer. I'm going to leave that in place. Now, this is the headset, and this is not a standalone VR thing, so you do need to put a compatible phone in it. And I'm hearing that the iPhone uh, 10 is not compatible, so you will need a phone that is, and I'll uh, link to the product so you can figure out uh, what might work with your particular devices here. So let's pull off the uh, plastic. So I pulled the plastic off of the headset and look at this. It's got uh, two cameras on either side. So it looks like it's doing some uh, tracking probably of that base to figure out where you are in space. And uh, what's also cool about this is that I believe this is an augmented reality experience because your phone uh, mounts in the side of it and it faces downward and it looks like it's getting reflected back up. So you can probably see what's going on in your room and have these uh, images projected holographically in front of you. I'll try to figure out a way to uh, do a, a mirror of my phone screen as I'm playing with this. So it looks like here, this is the, uh, the adapter that your phone goes into, and I have to figure out how to pop this open here, but it looks like there are some adjustments in here. It doesn't look like there's a lot of room for the screen, so it looks like it's got a pretty narrow area on the phone screen that uh, it projects things out from. It's gonna be kind of a fun thing to play around with. Now, I don't know what happens though if you get your phone in here and you have to adjust something or you make a call. So I'm gonna be playing around with this and just trying to figure out uh, the best way to get it working. It's the only impractical component I see here is that part, but uh, we'll do a full review of this and figure out exactly how it goes. But everything um, has a nice padded uh, surface to it here, so I don't think you have to worry about your uh, phone with a glass back or something getting scratched on this. So I'm gonna be playing around with this. I probably uh, plugged the iPhone 8 into this and uh, we'll see how all of it works. So stay tuned. We're gonna have a full review very shortly on my main channel at lon.tv once I figure out how, how all this stuff works. Stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.